Do you know what time it is? It's time for a shave. Okay, today I'm going to uh, use a razor that I've used uh, a couple times before. But the reason I want to use it today is some people have been having problems with it. So this is like a tutorial on how to shave with a single edge razor like the uh, supply razor which I've used already twice before. Uh, I do have a different blade, do have, that's not right, but I have a different blade I'm using. It's a Schick injector blade, so we're going to try that today. This will be the second usage on, that, on this particular blade. Uh, I don't know why people have been having problems with it, but we'll run through uh, step by step and see how we do. All right, uh, the brush I'm going to use is a new brush, DS <laughs> Cosmetic, like this here. It's a synthetic brush. I only need to soak it for a few minutes, so that's what I'm going to do right now for about 30 seconds because the fibers really don't absorb that much water. The soap I'm going to use is the Barber Shop soap right there. This is given to me by, uh, first of all, this is by Shannon Soap Company Limited. I've used uh, some of their other products, it's really nice. This was sent to me by Backroads Gold, Chris sent this to me and uh, it's really a nice soap I've used it once before thanks Chris and uh, I got some of it out and I've already put it in my little uh, tin mixing bowl here mixing bowl lather bowl bowl breakfast bowl whatever <laughs> okay so today if you've never used that razor before and this is your first attempt what you want to do is uh, use, if you've never used it before with any razor, you want to use some type of shaving oil or shaving cream. So right now, I've had this rag soaking in the, the water here for hot water for a few minutes. So I'm going to kind of put that on my beard and we'll soften the whiskers up a little bit. I did wash my beard a few minutes ago. Beard? Whiskers. There's no beard. It's about three days growth. I look kind of grubby. All right, I'm going to wet it down a little bit. Then we'll mix up the uh, the good stuff and put it on. All right, that should be good enough. Now I'm going to put a few drops of this oil. This is by uh, Shave Secret Shave Oil. So we'll put a few drops here. A few drops. I don't know how much it's going to take, but we're going to find out. This helps to give all the protection possible when you use any, use any kind of a new razor. Usually I use uh, my, my soap here and I forgot to put that on. My, I'll use it uh, on the second and third pass. My Brute soap, it's pretty slippery. And now let's mix up my lather or make my lather. So I'm going to get the water out of here like that. And we'll put, put it in this bowl and go to work. I just uh, finished a short, I think an eight or nine minute video on uh, this razor by supply company on how to disassemble it, clean it, and assemble it. All my razors, I remove the razor blades after I finish, after I finish with them, there's a lot of water in this. Well, we'll do okay. So, but on the supply razor, it seems like you would leave it in because it's, it's not a pain, but it's a, uh, it's a couple more steps you got to go through to remove the blade, and then when you put it back in, you get, have to make sure it's aligned. So I think what they do is they recommend leaving it in until you change it. And that's why they have the injector. This is coming up nice. <laughs> but in case you want to clean it, I'll, I'll have a video linked at the end here if you hang, hang loose. So watch me until the end here. This shouldn't take too long. All right, let's see how we do with this. This is pretty good. It's nighttime. Dark out, so I don't get any sun through the light window here on the side. I've been getting some nice shades with this razor. 
<clears throat> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set my brush down, put some hot water in one of my bowls, which I usually do. If you watch me before, you know my routine. Put the, the one bowl with the water in it, and then I'll set this one on the top of it with the lather. And that'll keep it nice and warm. I like warm lather. All right. This lather is a uh, smells really nice. It's not overpowering, fresh. You know, they say in uh, instructions on this, in the videos that I watched by the company that these blades, injector blades, last a lot longer than uh, razor blades that we use. You know, you're going to get more than, because uh, what do we get? Th average of three, maybe four shaves at best. I mean, sometimes you get certain razors that are razor blades that will last longer. But most of them, let's say three or four shaves. And this one, you probably could shave seven, eight times comfortably. We'll find out. All right. I'm just working the tips with the soap. You want to... Get the lather all the way around, work it well into the tissue, get the whiskers to stand up. I, I don't know if they're standing up or laying down or what. All right. All right, put that in there. It's time to test the razor. I'm going to run the razor under hot water. I'm also checking the edge of the razor here that there's no overhang. Because the first time I used it, I did cut myself because I wasn't uh, paying attention. What I do is I'll lay it against the skin like this and then I'll tilt it just a little bit. And you can you can feel it, it just feels so smooth with this blade. Oh my goodness. I've used this uh, razor on my head. And it was wonderful. When you get old, you get wrinkles like this, so you have to blow the air out. If you're like some of the other guys who shave on the internet, on YouTube, they're a lot younger, and they have no wrinkles. But trust me, they'll get them. <laughs> Time does that to you. The trick with this is to take your time and keep being aware of where the what's the angle is on the razor. It's a very forgiving razor. Take your time when you go around these areas and because there's no overhang the likelihood of you cutting yourself or nicking yourself is remote. Okay, now I'm going to start number pass number two but I'm going to wash my face with the blue soap first. That was a nice First pass, and we'll get to whip some lather up here. I 
The second coating of this, and the third coating, I like a little bit more water in my lab. That's my personal taste or preference, not taste because I don't eat it. It just seems like it flows a lot better. On one of my last videos, when I use this uh, razor, I think I actually mentioned it's very forgiving. It's, for new shavers, it's just a great uh, choice if you happen to get that razor. They were uh, the owners, husband and wife, they were on Shark Tank. How about, what, three weeks ago now? <clears throat> All right. It's going to be side to side. Where did I do that? Oh, I switched sides pretty quickly. Didn't nick myself there a little. Not the first time. And I can tell you something, it's not going to be the last either. If you want to, you pull the skin to make it tighter. That helps, especially on a straight razor. Okay. All right, good. All right, we're going to go to the last pass now. This will be against the grain. So let's do this. Try to whip it up quickly because I know you don't want to hang around here forever. Okay. Do you feel comfortable after two passes with this razor? Just leave it cold. There's no law that says you have to go three. Sometimes I'll go five, sometimes I'll go twice or six, I don't care. Whatever I feel like doing. I'm not worried about the shave police breaking into my uh, shaving den and taking me off to shave prison. <laughs> shave prison? Oh my God. I've been in Sherwood for too long. All right. This is against the grain. We'll start on this left side. Go up. Okay. <clears throat> Seems like the corners here always takes a little bit more attention. Okay, good. 
One more pass around here and then I'll be done. Now, oh, might as well do the whole thing. Don't want to waste the lather, you know. But if the area is done, or I'm satisfied that I don't see going over it again, because what will happen then is you'll wind up nicking yourself. That's what I usually do. All right. Feeling with my fingers where I've missed or the spot that need a little extra care. All right, let's wash it down some cold Lake Michigan water. Looking better, huh? Idea to pat your face and not uh, scrub it. Let's see, this uh, let me use some uh, Humphreys witch hazel. I've got uh, some tea tree oil in it, it's a nice shave, really nice, smooth. smooth. Oh, yeah, okay. And then uh, I'm gonna use some. Uh, this is a uh, Taylor Old Bond Street Luxury Sandalwood After Shave Lotion. Comes in a real nice box, and the container is even nicer. You can see that, and it's got the little plastic thing on the top, which I like. It prevents a whole bunch of it from dumping out. Oh my God! Smell that! Oh. Then the last thing I'm going to use to replace the moisture is a good fellow and company face lotion. This has got uh, kelp and seed minerals in it. I used this the other day and it was quite nice actually. Not much of a scent to it, but it really feels good on the skin. Oh yeah. Oh, I keep forgetting. You gotta push up, not down. All right. All right, let's see how we did. I got this one little area here. I'll take my little septic pencil out. It's a little mini when I got, uh, I ordered some lo lotion a lot of lotion or soap and then uh, they send you this to you so it comes in handy all right let's review this quickly going from the back to the front I use Goodfellow and Company uh, face lotion or balm I use the uh, Taylor of Old Bond Street sandalwood after shave lotion really this is really nice then I use the Humphreys uh, witch hazel and in there I put tea tree oil the soap I used was the barbershop soap, which is given to me by Chris out at uh, Backroads Gold. 
they're in uh, chloride chloride yeah chloride Arizona it was an old gold mining town uh, the razor blade this time was a Schick injector blade I used some shaver secrets oil to prep my face and the brush I used was a DS cosmetic synthetic brush I love the color the star of the show was the supply razor bang now I'm gonna clean it uh, thanks for stopping in if you look you see up there uh, to there'll be two links up there to other videos one will be on how to clean and take apart this razor and the other one is how to shave the head with it so have fun shaving have some good shave leave your comments below I do answer them all I uh, hope you have a great day and uh, have some greater shaves. See you later. Bye.